Hi, this is Terry White. I'm the Global Communications Manager for Antenna and also a Mobile Masters blogger. As part of our Mobile Masters series on exciting new technologies, today we're going to be talking about Volt. And I'm joined by two of my fellow Mobile Masters bloggers. This is Jason Wong and Ken Parmalee. Jason is Product Marketing Manager for Antenna and Ken is our Director of Applications. So um, today we're just going to have a chat about Volt, this new technology for all of our Mobile Masters community out there to let everybody know what's, uh, what, it, what it's all about and what it means to the enterprise market. So welcome guys. Thanks. Thank you, Jeff. Actually in the lobby of Antenna in uh, in beautiful Jersey City, and um, so let's just start right out with uh, talking about Volt. And if you guys could just tell me, so what what is it exactly? So Volt is exciting new technology. It's uh, what we call an app publisher, for lack of more you know a short description of it. And essentially, it's a technology that allows companies to uh, deploy web applications directly to their end users after they've downloaded a native client application which is called the Volt Client. Okay. So they can find the Volt Client on the App Store today, on iTunes App Store and on the Android Market uh, Store. All they have to do is download it and if they are an intended customer, when they log in to the application, they will be automatically provisioned with applications that their administrators give them. You can explain to me, Ken, with what, what Jason said. So. Why do we need a thing like Volt? What, what problems does sure. Volt solve? Sure, so it actually solves for a whole lot of different things. Um, one of the things that's critical to understand about what this technology is, is it's HTML5 web applications. Okay. So you can run those offline. It has all the characteristics of a, a native application in terms of its capabilities. Um, so this combination of the native app and the, the web applications, the HTML5 applications, is very powerful. What this really enables is for you to be able to partition off your data, your applications, all the things that are really business controlled and be able to utilize them uh, you know, in a way that is secure, it's safe, it's manageable. Um, so from a central control point, a, a company can provision apps, remove apps, change apps, all of those things. Okay. So it's really um, a way then for, uh, well give me an example of how a typical business might use what the use case would be for a typical business. Sure, an example could be uh, for a new hire, let's say. The new hire today would come in to a company and they would get a packet of HR material from you know, HR. Okay. Uh, well, for work, maybe they get uh, you know the, their own smartphone device or tablet device or they could bring in their own personal device. So either a, a device that a company issues to them or, or their own personal device. Correct. Okay. Yeah, and all they have to do is go onto the app store of that device download the Volt Client, and the Volt Client can be branded for the specific company. And from, from logging on to the Volt Client, they will then be uh, provisioned with the applications that they need for their specific role within the company. So if it's a sales rep, they can download a sales application, mobile sales application, an expense reporting application, a travel authorization application, maybe a SharePoint application. Uh, so depending on the role, it could be a, a different combinations of applications for the worker. Interesting. So it's like a suite-based approach to getting the applications that you need. Right. So the thing is that all they have to do is just download one uh, piece of software, uh -huh. the Volt Client, and then from there uh, they they will get the applications that they need without having to do anything else. And one of the other interesting and exciting things about this technology is that we have a whole portfolio of applications already available. Okay. For, so everything from like Google Suites to service apps to sales apps. Right. And these are applications, as Ken mentioned, that are built on HTML5. Uh, they, they run within this native application or sandbox. And uh, essentially these are enterprise approved. So the enterprises have already uh, you know, review them and make sure that it's you know uh, integrated with their backend systems and fit for the workers so that they're not going off and downloading random, random applications from app stores and installing on their device for work purposes. 
Okay, and if I'm a developer, do I need to know any special software or any special applications to develop that's the other exciting, applications? Yeah, that's the other exciting thing about this technology. So we have been, basically taken advantage of open source capabilities. We offer a messaging API that allows for those apps to communicate over our infrastructure. Okay. Uh, but it's standard uh, development capabilities, of, you know, HTML5, JavaScript, CSS. That's that's what you're building the applications. Okay, great. So, as a developer, how do I address the uh, developing applications for different device platforms? Sure, that's a great question. So. The beauty of this, because it's open, standards-based technology, and you can build once and deploy it at any point. Okay. So it addresses any HTML5 capable So same application. Yeah. So, um, so why can't I just do that myself? Then what? Why do I need Volt? Well, because Volt, it, it actually layers in all the security and layers in all the management and those capabilities that we talked about before. So you know, you think about a standard web application. It's talking over the open web to some back end. Uh, through this solution, what we're doing is we're talking through the Ant Mobility platform directly to an enterprise back end. So it's fully secured end to end. There's no point where the data's out in the open. And so, especially in industries like financial services and pharmaceutical and those kinds of industries, there's nothing like it. Yeah, and because it runs on top of man, you have the management capabilities wrapped up in the management center. You have analytics, tracking all the usage mm -hmm. and the transactions. So there's a lot of benefits built into the platform that's part of Bolt. Okay, and and can you show me um, to Bolt and what what devices that it runs on today? Sure, uh, Bolt today runs on uh, primarily iPhone and Android devices. Uh, right here we have uh, the Dell Streak, which oh, is an Android a, device. It's a pretty slick looking device. Yeah. And uh, I'm in the App Store right here. And I just search for Antenna Volt. It comes up with the Antenna Volt client, and I can install it, reinstall. So after installing it on the device, uh, I, I can get a login from my IT. Uh, my IT person can just email me a uh, username and a password, and using that, I log in, I get authenticated with the backend systems, and Volt will then automatically download the applications in real time to my device upon login. And from there, I can start using those applications. And the great thing is that these applications uh, are run, all, all running simultaneously. So I can work you know, from one application and jump to another application and get alerts at the same time from another application that uh, is running in the background. Okay, and then presumably if I wanted to switch out of it and go do something else on my device, something personal related, I just close that down. And sure. Yeah, toggle just, right over and toggle back and forth. That's right, you just exit and go play your Angry Birds and come back in. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, Volt is more than just an application though, right, on the device. I mean, there's a whole platform behind it. Do you guys want to talk a little bit about what's going on there yep. with the management capabilities? Sure. So, Volt is a, a client platform that also develops all the capabilities of, of AMP behind the scenes, and AMP is the antenna mobility platform our tech, core technology. So uh, the advantage of all of that is, you know, the app side, is w which we've been talking about primarily, gives you security, gives you provisioning, all of these kind of things. But in the back end, I have all the reporting related to how the app's been used. I have um, all kinds of management capabilities about understanding how uh, the, the solution is functioning at all times. Um, it really gives me, as an administrator, capability to see the whole 360-degree view of back end to front end to device, uh, you know, everything that's going on. And how would you characterize the difference between what, what Volt does and say more of a, a mobile device management type solution? Sure, so uh, mobile device managers tend to focus on the entire device and kind of what what's on the device. Volt really manages this partition of the device, if you will, so it's everything running application-wise inside of Volt but it doesn't really need the other side of it. So again, back to the personal versus work device, it's perfect for that kind of format where you can manage off a section of the device. So you're not worried about what somebody, what else is going on in the device, but you can totally manage and control and secure the enterprise related Volt part. Absolutely. Right. All, the business app that, that, all the business apps that you run on Volt, you know, separate from your personal stuff, and you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, you take the device away after you leave the company. 
uh, IT tinkering with your device. Right. Very cool. Um, and you talk a lot about uh, the, uh, the enterprise using it. Is there scope for this? Is there application in, in, uh, for consumers or uh, companies doing their own branded Volt app? Sure. So we we can do branded Volt apps very easily. Our client can do that for themselves. Um, in fact, there are others out there today um, that, that do this. Um, you know, one of the things I think that is most interesting about Volt is that it does uh, actually require that authentication and those types of things. Um, you know, there is a capability to do this for consumers as well, but it's really designed to kind of provide for that management level, which okay. necessarily you don't necessarily need. So. And just a couple of other questions about the apps themselves. So they're HTML5 apps, so they have data persistence, so you can work online and offline. Is that correct? correct? Yep. It leverages uh, all the capabilities of HTML5, which is the uh, uh, offline persistence and uh, you know data caching. And also, uh, we also have APIs that can leverage the device hardware. So for instance, uh, leveraging the camera uh, for pictures and videos and leveraging for barcode scanning purposes uh, that can be done as well as integration with GPS. So really, you're not having um, a mobile web um, experience, but more, it feels more like a native app that you're okay. using. That's very, very interesting. Um, and one last question, most important question, how does, if I wanted to try, if someone out there, another mobile master wants to try Volt, how would they go about getting it? Yeah, today Volt is available on the uh, iTunes App Store and also on the Android Market uh, App Store. So you can go on those two stores and type in Antenna Volt and download your client for free. And uh, once you get that client, you'll have a chance to link to our registration page where we'll actually set you up with a couple of demo apps. Uh, and uh, you go to our website, there's also uh, a link to that registration form where you can sign up and we'll set you up uh, once you have your Volt client installed. Great. Well, thank you guys both for uh, joining us today for a little chat. And uh, this is Terry White and uh, Jason Wong, Ken Parmley, signing off for Mobile Masters.